distinguished colleagues, I stand to support this motion, which is similar to what we discussed yesterday, and which seems to be a recurrent decimal in Nigeria. It seems to be that Nigeria is becoming a lawless country, a country with no rules and regulations, a country where laws are not adhered to, a country where there is no consequence for bad behavior. We either have a government or we don't. We either have security agencies or we don't. We either believe in the sanctity of life and property or we don't. These are the fundamental issues at stake today. Because every day since we've been here, somebody has gotten killed, raped, maimed, throat slit, killed at gunpoint. And every day we have resolutions after resolutions and nothing is being done. It is time the federal government of Nigeria acts because they were voted into office. They have an executive function to protect the lives and properties of Nigerians. This is one of several examples that we've been accosted with since we've been in the hollow chambers. I am disgusted by what I am hearing. It is disgusting to find pregnant women, their stomachs slit, unborn babies removed. And if these herdsmen are allowed to rampage the way they are, then, frankly speaking, they are a terrorist organization. And a terrorist organization must be dealt with decisively by the military. It is no longer a situation where we call on policemen who do not have the arms or the training to face folks with AK-47, a well-trained militia, we are told by foreigners, maybe Nigerians, but in a sense, people who now occupy land that belong to Nigeria, and we have conversations with them. If we can fight Boko Haram, certainly we can fight the herdsmen. And what I am saying right now is, a very, is very, very serious, and I urge the federal government of Nigeria to take this seriously. And if the security agencies cannot do their job, then the leadership must be fired. There must be consequence for bad behavior. You are either in control of security of Nigeria or you are not. The ministers involved should resign. The generals involved must be fired or resign. Otherwise, they should be impeached. It is not acceptable for Nigerians to be killed like cattle. It is not acceptable for us to be invaded by foreign mercenaries. And all we do is have conversations. Enough is enough. I am urging the federal government of Nigeria. It's not about coming to the... It, it is as if the Senate is now the executive arm of government. That is what it seems. And I feel sorry for my colleagues. Senator Marafa had closed our session, told us what is happening. Senator Marafa, pay attention. He told us what is happening in Zamfara State. But Senator Marafa did not say it in open house. What he said frightened everybody here about what is happening in Zamfara. There is a, there, Zamfara State is being occupied by foreign mercenaries. That is a fact of life. When we had the session yesterday, he never said it. But he should have said it. It is being occupied by a foreign country in Zamfara State. If that is the case, what are we doing about it? If the people responsible for protection of lives and property in Nigeria cannot do their job, what happens in civilized countries? They are fired. They are kicked out of office. She Sani on TV today explained it eloquently, and he was dead on point. Now, what are we doing? If the federal government of Nigeria wants to run the Red Chamber as the Red Chamber to become the executive of Nigeria, then let us appoint uh, as Senate President the President of Nigeria. Let us, do, let us do the job of the executive. Because it doesn't make any sense. Every day we deal with all these issues. People are being killed every day. Babies are being born every day with no future. They, they, they are born into this world, and as soon as they're old enough, they, can, they pick up an AK-47, they, they pick up a machete, they start killing fellow human beings. Then what do we do? All we do is talk, 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 talk. What is happening? There has to be consequence. The Minister of Defense should come here and tell us what he's doing. Minister of Internal Affairs should be someone here and, and, and let, let us know what they're doing. If the cabinet is incompetent, then fire them. Senator Marafa said things to me. That, look, every, when, he's, when he finished speaking yesterday, five senators came to me scared to death, frightened about what he said. But he didn't say it in open house. 
He said it in private. And what he said should have said, said on the floor. Because what is happening in Taraba, what is happening in Enugu, what is happening in Kaduna, what is happening all across the country is disgusting. People are being, people are being killed. People are being killed. I don't think you understand it. Maybe the cameras should go to these areas and see dead bodies. Maybe NBC should change the law. They don't see dead bodies. Women being slaughtered as if we were in Liberia, as if we were in Sierra Leone. What is this? We are becoming a barbaric nation. We have no respect for life and property. And people are dying every day. And what the hell are we doing? The executive should speak today and explain to Nigeria what is going on in this country. We cannot continue like this. If Saraki is the only one interested, let him become president of Nigeria. Then that solves the problem. We cannot continue like this. Enough is enough. We either face these problems or everybody shut up and resign from public office. People are dying every day. Enough is enough. Thank you, Mr. President.